Holloman Air Force Base in Fort Bliss, two large military facilities near Alamogordo and the Texas state line. They provide thousands of jobs on and off site and millions of dollars for those economies. But with military cutbacks a common topic in Washington, D.C. every year and the base realignment and closure list every few years, designating forts and bases for closure, how can we try and prevent our facilities from ever getting on those lists? First, Democrat Socialist Torres Small. We can absolutely protect those assets, and it's vital to our economy and to our communities that we do so. And the way we do that is having a strong familiarity with each of their missions and making sure that we are staying engaged in terms of protecting those missions and working and looking into the future about what other missions are and opportunities are there in terms of securing real national security. Missions can come and go, but what New Mexico has to offer is a lot of not only ground space, but airspace something our state has used before to save Kirtland and Cannon Air Force Base. Republican Yvette Harrell's answer is similar to her opponents, mentioning not only the present, but the future. Any base in the United States is, is vulnerable to that, uh, to BRAC. But, you know, I think the stronger that our missions are, especially speaking specifically to Holloman Air Force Base. And of course, as you know, we're trying to get the permanent bed down for the F-16. And so as, if we can continue to grow Holloman's missions, you know, I, I want to think that gives us a little bit of uh, safeguard, if you will. According to the National Conference on State Legislatures, the military spends more than $3 billion in our state every year. That is direct spending only. It does not include jobs created from that, other spending or tax revenues generated from that $3 billion. Now tonight, I attend how our two candidates running for governor would attack New Mexico's unemployment and struggling economy. No.